Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed voted on Monday in national and regional elections that he has built as proof of his commitment to democracy. After decades of repressive rule in Africa's second most populous nation, although voting was delayed due to violence in some areas and the opposition parties boycotted the poll in others, greeted by a crowd of supporters as he entered the polling station, Abiy voted in Bishasha in central Ethiopia. Abiy, who is 45, oversaw sweeping political and economic reforms after his appointment in 2018 by the ruling coalition. Results of the vote could reverberate beyond Ethiopia. The Horn of African nation is a diplomatic heavyweight in a volatile region, providing peacekeepers to Somalia, Sudan and South Sudan. It also is one of the world's biggest frontier markets. Now, the head of the African Union's Observer Mission and former Nigerian President Olusha Gobasanjo says despite some handicaps, the parliamentary election in Ethiopia is going reasonably well. Obasanjo said the general impression is that this election, in spite of some handicaps, is a lot better than the previous one in terms of opening the space for electoral participation. I've met leadership of the, this country at the highest level. I've met all the organizations that are involved in the preparation for the election. The general impression given is that this election, in spite of the handicaps, and I will talk about the handicaps uh, in a moment, has been a lot better than elections in the past in terms of opening more space for election uh, participation. The handicaps, of course, are understandable. Staying with Ethiopia now, the rising ethnic tensions in that country have been highlighted as a major setback as voting continues in the country's regional and parliamentary elections. UN's human rights chief, Michel Bachelet, said that nearly a fifth of the constituencies is not taking part in the poll because of insecurity and irregularities. It includes the whole of the Tigray region, where a civil war broke out in November. Opening the 47th session of the Human Rights Council in Geneva, Ms. Bachelet said the volatile situation needed to be addressed and called for a political dialogue. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.